we're going to do a um, quick little ditty here. This is real warehouse cuisine right here. This is what this channel is all about, what I'm about to show you. So I got my saucepan ready to go. I'm going to turn up the heat on our hot, pan, hot, hot plate. And I'm going to put in a good helping of olive oil here, extra virgin, of course. And I'm almost out of it. You know what? That's it. I am out of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to have to get some more. Just use the rest of that there. I'm going to tip the bottle and get the rest of this later on. And while that's heating up, uh, I've already got some pre-peeled garlic. And, uh, and this is a... Um, jalapeno from earlier. Now uh, what we're doing today is we're going to make, uh, basically we're going to enhance, we're going to do an enhancement. We got this um, beef stew over here. You know a lot of times these like one helping, one serving things are just not hearty enough for my appetite. So I'll do a little mash up. So today I'm going to mash these up, but I'm going to do some extra mashing up, which I'm going to show you right here. So I usually like to start these kinds of things when I'm going to make a soup with uh, some onion. And so uh, let me get this peeled real quick. All right, I just made a mess here, but um, onion is a good uh, onion and, and uh, sauteed in the uh, olive oil is a real good starter. And then we're going to add the uh, jalapeno pepper and we're going to put some uh, additional herbs and spices in there. And then we're going to be ready to add our uh, our next ingredient, which is the, uh, the canned stuff, the product. And mix that all up, and we're going to have ourselves a delicious, uh, I guess you might want to call it a chili or something. But this is what it's all about. This is where I found myself living in this warehouse. I got my prepped food. And I just started eating into it, making these recipes, and this is what it was all about. I'm going to chop up this garlic here. I like to add a lot of garlic to my food. This is how you stay healthy overall. And I'm going to leave those big chunks just like that. I'm going to let those saute up. And I'm going to get this jalapeno. Uh, I'm actually going to do this the way I normally do it, which is I'm going to remove the uh, seeds in the pith entirely. And then I'm going to dice this up. Real nice, like I did, I think, in the uh, scramblet video. But um, I want this all to saute up in the uh, olive oil before we stick in the rest of the ingredients because I want all of the um, oils and nutrients and stuff to get extracted out into the olive oil before we add the rest of the ingredients. So let's do that and. Uh, We'll mix this around. I had to get my spoon. You know what? We're going to put some uh, garlic salt in here just to get that infused. And been one of my favorite ingredients is to put turmeric. Um, I like this curry powder I got. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this curry. I'm not going to overdo it because uh, curry has a tendency to overpower if you put too much. Okay, and that's good enough for now. If for the whole dish. So let's get that good mixed up. So, you know, we have a decent amount of extras in here. We're not going to go too crazy. But I think we're going to maybe um, maybe do some diced tomatoes later on. So let's let that simmer up and we'll come back to it. Okay, so we're going to be putting in, this is again our um, main ingredient here. This is a Meyer chunky beef with country vegetables and on its own it's actually really good and it's got uh, mostly good ingredients and um, can't complain about it but you know it's got a, more of an appetite than just one of these I would eat two of these together but tonight I decided to uh, use this as a basis of uh, for a classical warehouse cuisine meal we're gonna mix it with this Kirkland roast beef and broth and then while I was waiting for our uh, saute to get nice and hot now and it's ready to go um, I went and grabbed some diced tomatoes and some cut green beans. We're going to make a chili here. So <clears throat> let me move, uh, let me get this uh, stuff going in here. I'm going to first get the uh, beef broth stuff going, or I'm sorry, this uh, beef soup, beef stew. And these containers are interesting. They're something new on the market. Also, I forget to 
shake them up because they tend to get fat up on the top. It just sticks to the top. Anyway, here we go. So, here it is. Nice and hearty. We're going to mix it in with our onions, our sautéing onions and jalapeno peppers. We're going to make this nice and spicy. Yeah, got to get it in there. All right. So there's still a chunk done. There. there we go. All right. Now we're going to get our can of beef and broth open. And we're going to just stick that whole thing in there. We're going to put all the broth in. This can, by the way, is from 2012, or at least the best used by was 2012. So just to show you, and I mixed it up a little bit. I meant to mix it up more. See how the beef fat came up out of there, which is good. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And uh, looks good. Smells good. Nothing wrong with that. So there's our beef now. What we're adding. Enhancing this uh, Meyer country stew with. Pre-peeled some uh, avocados. They're at the ready. And let's see what we have here. It's going to be... Nice and thick. There's a lot here. I didn't mean to make this much, so it looks like I'm going to have breakfast as well. Now, <clears throat> I'm not going to add all these tomatoes. That's just going to be too darn much, but we are going to add a good half of them. And what I like to do when I open these cans, this can is, by the way, Best Buy 2014. So this was a more... Yep, this was an older can, actually, I believe. As you drink some of that liquid out of there. Because again, vitamins. And I'm going to stick about yay much in there. That's probably good. We'll save the rest for another recipe. I'm going to get these green beans. Open these up here. And again, I'm going to drink out that juice. Not too much. That's a little much. Um, I'm going to try not to get too much juice in there. Spoon about yay much. Mix this around. This is unsalted, so I like a little salt added to uh, get it to the right salinity level. That's probably good. And let's see, we already added some curry powder. I think we're probably good with all the flavor that's already in here. And there you go, we're gonna let this stew up now. It's more of a stew than a chili, I guess, but with that heat, it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna do one more thing here. I got one of my favorite salsa, or hot sauces here. It's Valentina sauce. So I'm gonna add some of this in here to uh, really spice it up. Because I could have put more jalapeno in there, but um, I didn't want to break open another one. And I wanted to use that half one I had, so that'll be good. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to taste this here real quick, see what we got. Look at that. That's a nice got potato and green bean, diced tomato, and that beef. Well, can't say it's fantastic. But let's give it some time to heat up. See what we got in a little bit here. All right, so our uh, mashup is basically heating up here. It's starting to boil. So I'm going to slice up these avocados. These are a little hard uh, still, but that's fine because we're going to cook them up a little bit inside this, this stew chili, this chili stew, this warehouse cuisine creation. Just gonna dice these a little bit. Nothing fancy. This is warehouse cuisine. Stick that in there, and this is gonna be done in just a little bit. That beef's gonna be nice and tender. I'm just gonna have uh, gotten flavored up with all these flavors we got in here. Let me aim this camera right for once. Give that just a few more minutes, see what happens. All right, that's good enough. I don't want it so hot that you can't eat it. So, turning off our hot plate, and uh, there it is, man. 
I'm going to ladle in some of this into my soup bowl. And give it a try here. And uh, we'll see what we've got. I don't have great expectations for this because um, well, I just don't. Sometimes it's hit or miss. Let's see what we got. It's too hot, really. Mm, it's hot. Um, there's a little too much tomato in it. The tomato um, was um, overpowering the, the whole flavor of it. All that juice from the tomato, I think. If I hadn't put so much of the juice in there, it would have been better. It's going to salt it up a little bit. A little salt overload might uh, undo that. I guess it's like a tangy bitterness of that tomato. But otherwise, you know what? It's fine. You could feed this to somebody, they'd be happy with it. It's tasty, it's got good stuff in it, it's got beef, it's got avocado, it's got the jalapeno, it's nice and hot. So, what are you gonna do? But like I said, or like I was, like I said, this is this is warehouse cuisine right here. It's mashups. It's taking what you got, throwing it together, getting ready for the end of the world. This is end of the world living. This is what it's all been about from the beginning. So, there you have it. Enjoy. Catch you next episode.